Hi there, Luke Rixard with Artist at Autodesk. And just want to quickly cover how to create this anastropic brush metal effect. There is this written tutorial if you want to follow along with a scene file. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, so we've got a pot scene here. I'm going to start off by creating a standard surface shader, assign it to the pot base. And if we reduce the base color to darker gray, increase the metalness to 1, increase the specular roughness to 0.4. To get the effect, we need to connect a ramp RGB to the anastropy, specular anastropy. Color R to specular anastropy. Change the type to radial. And then we need to add some more colors here. So make sure the interpolation sets are uh, smooth for both black and white. Just add some more black values and some white values. So, go back to the sand surface and just increase the rotation. So, we pick up the, the highlight there. We need to, you can always add another black and white value. See the effect it's having as we move the color values. So, now we're getting four here. And you can always go back and rotate it. Now it's looking a bit smooth at the moment. We can add a bump map to that with some noise shader with a noise shader. So under geometry, bump mapping, let's create a noise, Arnold noise there. Out colour R to the bump value. And then just increase the number of octaves and change the coordinate space to world. You should start to see the noise, but it's not in the circular pattern that we want. To do that, we need to connect a ramp to the scale of the noise. This time, we use a ramp float. And then just change the type to circular. There you have it. Okay, so that's the standard surface, dark grey, metalness. We've connected a ramp set to radial to the Spiklands Tropy. And then we've got a bump 2D with the noise shader set to world space. And then we've added the ramp float set to circular to the noise scale.